Hmm. Let's use the spirit vision again. Yes, fantastic. We will talk. Oh no! Hey everybody, I welcome back to see to play some more Divinity Original Sin 2. Last time we fought a bunch of uh things I didn't think we were able to fight. They're basically a bunch of possessed dwarves that had a bunch of like polymorph abilities. Also, I turned on the combat log. Uh, I'm not sure how much I'll use it. it basically, I can see my combat speeches, banter, and item interactions down here, so I won't have to be you know too questionable. Maybe I can like. Scroll over and they'll tell me things. Alright, it's time to go inside the Wrecker's Cave, which is very spooky. Why are- this is like the second cave that we entered that we're like, like, which is in the form of a skull. And that's the sign of a fight if I ever heard it before. Alright. <laughs> Dead bodies. So, you know what that means. Try this, yep. Yep, that's a good idea. I will read what Looks these like dead dwarves no have to say. Place, or what's left of it. Level 11, huh? I'm a little bit scared because I feel like I always do poorly when it comes to level 11 features. But it is just one thing. There's more in the back, probably. I don't know how I want to interact with this. A dwarven spirit cowers on the ground, trapped in the fear of her final moments. No, no, please. Did you see the dead lights? Calm down. No more harm can come to you. With growing you can no longer be harmed. She turns her focus on something unseen, looming high above her. No! I may have been wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry. The trembling of the dwarven spirit tells you the halberd in his hands may not be enough to withstand Look his at those bodies. Enemy. Holy he crap. Behind him, searching for an escape. He drops the halberd and bolts behind some nearby rocks. Save me. I don't want to die, please. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. The spirit screams and screams as something unseen tears into him. So they can be harmed. And doesn't we can sneak up behind him, which we might try doing. There's a void woken on the A frantic dwarf knocks an arrow to a phantom bow. Okay, he's he walking away. That's not cool. Visible horror, visible only in his mind's eye. He Keep firing, damn you! He has to have a weak spot. He has to. I'll extend my palm in front of this freshly notched arrow. The spirit looses the arrow. It evaporates into nothing against your hand. No pain, though a shiver runs up your arm. Okay. He drops his bow and yanks his sword from its sheath. Come on, you filth! Let's see what your insides look like! I'll wave my hand in front of the spirit to get his attention. The spirit is blind to you. He grips his sword tightly. Creeping fear slowly fills his dead eyes. Alright, this is not normal. Something is definitely wrong here. We have some void tainted torsos and some bloodied arms. Let's uh, do some eating again. We got a void tainted leg. I mean, it must be done. We got another bloodied leg. Man, there's so many legs. Also, there's a skeleton over here I forgot to look at. Very important to take that two gold. That'll be worth something in the long run. Her gaze falls on you, a glimmer of awareness. There's another she friendly. Raises her hand as a greeting. There's two friendlies here. Or as a warning. I'm looking for Mortis. Takes a deep breath and bellows silently. A distant cry echoes along the cavern. Run. I am not running, lady. Got a bloodied leg over here. And two severed heads. That's a lot of severed heads. Maybe I'll get some abilities from that? I don't know. Got some more arms and legs over here. This guy's alive. Good gods. What happened? The dwarf rocks on her haunches, gnawing at her own bloody nose. Ugh. Her wet, fearful eyes flick to you. She lowers her fist just enough to hiss a warning. Away! Away! Too noisy! It'll come back! It'll take me too! What will take she you? She shrinks into the fetal position. It'll come back! It'll come back! It'll come back! It'll come back! And we'll all be eaten alive! Snap out of it, slap! You're in a state of shock! I need you to focus! The dwarf shakes her head vigorously. I don't want to look. I saw too much already. Too much. What did you see? Get away from me. 
You're already dead. You're eaten alive. Eaten alive. Get away from me. Hey, I just want to slap her. She clamps her hands over her ears and shuts her eyes. All right, so probably something not good. So before we do anything to this not good person, we gotta eat these body parts. I mean, it's a dirty job, but someone's gotta do it. I should turn to an elf this time. Don't forget. Step on your right foot. Don't forget. Let's eat, let's eat, let's eat these body parts. Auto sort. I got a void thing to like. I'm not sure how this will affect me. An ancient memory overwhelms you. You are no longer you. But you still sense source saturating the air, more than you have ever felt before. You watch a figure stride through a cavern of amethyst and rose quartz. A man. No light touches this place, yet the stones and minerals illuminate his way. The man approaches a pearl sphere atop a pedestal. He lays his hands huh. upon it, and source rushes through his fingers. I don't know why, but I'm thinking Brack is Rex with this. And you are thrust back into reality. The memory fades, but you still sense the source the man has commanded, as if you had possessed it for yourself. Did I become corrupted with power or something? Or am I being corrupted with power? You lose yourself in an ancient vision. As the man you saw before touches the pearl orb, you begin to feel yourself be. Various shades of grey swirl across the globe's surface, then part. You are free, joined by seven others, seven summoned gods. by a sacrificial source. The eight of you rush forth as shadows, past the globe, past the man whose body now lies limp on the floor, past the jeweled walls. The vision ends just as you emerge from the cavern. This memory, it feels ancient, a lost place in a lost time. Is there any other body parts? I think that's all the body parts, I think. We'll see. Eat some more body parts. You sought escape. But something stalked you. You fled. It followed. You came across a... a pile of bones. Oh, that sucks. You tried to run. Your source collar was heavy around your neck. You Ugh. slipped on the slick stone, and then they were on you. Dozens of mouths feasting on your still living This reminds flesh. me of the... the mummy with those, like... What are they called? You tried to make a break for it. From Fort Joy to the beach. You the scarabs that's crawling under your skin. You died Ugh. to the sound of your own echoing screams as the void woke and gnawed your bones. Got a couple more. You keep your eyes shut tight, muttering rapid prayers to the seven. All around you is a cacophony of wails, whimpers, and cries for help. You try to shut them out and pray with even more desperate fervor. A loud, inhuman roar suddenly cuts through the cacophony. You cover your ears with your hands and pray on. Hail strike. That's cool, but I can't use it. <laughs> you turn away from the sunset, only to see that Stanley has dropped to one knee. He holds out a ring to you with a sheepish grin. Who's your Stanley? hands fly up to cover your mouth, but too late to prevent a happy gasp of surprise from escaping. You didn't think he had it in him. Did what? <laughs> Okay, I may have misread that, but did that just mean that, you know, she was impressed by the guy's size? Maybe? I don't know. One thing I do want to look at is I did learn some new abilities with this character, so I wonder if I can unlock any. I don't have Necromancery. I don't have Geoman- I do have Geomancer. So I could do a Poison Dart. I need to get more memory for this guy. Maybe one more slot, that way I can get, like, what? I'm not gonna use that. Probably like, poison dart seems pretty good. And it's, but based on intel, it's not gonna do that much damage. Hmm. Yeah, bonus damage from intelligence, which I don't really care about intelligence for this character. Maybe it's not worth it. I'm more of a finesse guy. All right, so quick save again, so we don't have to do that entire thing again. You know, I mean, I, as much as I do like the, the the flavor text, as much as I do enjoy the stories. Oh, make sure I, I turn into an elf first. It was such an enjoying the stories, it takes a long time, you know. You fall into another memory. You emerge from the crystalline caves, past the orange rubble jutting from the ground, and rise above a shimmering lake. Surrounding the lake is a throng of figures, your worshippers, our worshippers. They will deliver your rightful power to you. You will be as gods. The mob drops to its knees as one. The shimmering lake, once placid, begins to boil and bubble, draining source from every supplicant. 
The past fades into the present. You see That's crazy. That sounds like a crazy place. So it looks like this one guy had all the power of the source. And he was able to... What was it called? He was able to basically... Take the source of others and become really strong. That sounds really dope. So quick save one more time. Quick saving is very vital. In my opinion. A rat. This rat... This... This rat can give us so much information. Try it. Totally worth it. I'm worried that they're eggs, right? So they're probably gonna be void woken creatures at one point. So we kill them, the better. The more we kill, we the better it is for us in the long run, or later on, maybe we'll see. I don't know. Hmm. Let's use the spirit vision again. Yes, fantastic. We will talk. Oh no. Huh. Mm-hmm. Yes. Physical is the key here. Physical. Physical, physical, physical. Hmm, magic is definitely not the answer here. Magic is definitely not the answer. So, the best thing to do. Too far! Are you kidding me? Physical, 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 physical. Haste, haste. Who should I haste? Who, sh who should I haste? I feel like we're not going to win this because of positioning, so I'm going to quick load it, try to work on our positioning a little bit more. Because I feel like if we were just a little bit closer with the, our... What I might do, that might be dangerous. I might leave uh, Gojira by himself in the black back lines behind the storm-winged ones, because they have the least armor. But I do a ton of damage, so the best thing to do might be to like, you know, do a bunch of attacks. I need to- I need like another escape for Gojira. Cause I feel like two escapes is great. But three is better, obviously. So, they're around here. So... It's saved by itself, so maybe I didn't have to quick load it. So I feel the best course of plan. Let's see. I want him here. There's gonna be a guy right here. I also kind of want Red Prince here because he does a bunch of physical damage. I also want Los here. Probably in the back line somewhere. I also do have teleportation ability. I gotta remember that. Beast? He might have to go on his own. So let's see how this... Stop right now. Quick save. See if this is good positioning or not. When does it happen? There you go. Perfect. Near perfect. We want to focus one down as much as we can. Uh, this. Adrenaline. Regular attack. How much is a chameleon cloak? One. Regular attack. Chameleon cloak. He's gonna fly away. Yep. That's something I probably should have been more careful about. I should have considered that. Bro, what? I am in complete shock. I think this is a... Uh... I think this is a... Uh... Why can't I move? I feel like this is a scripted event. I can't do anything.
I'll try that. I forgot because it was blocked. Okay, this is definitely scripted. This is definitely scripted. Jira? We're sep- this is- Who needs the most- The dwarf sways in okay. front of him. His eyes are unfocused and he seems to be mumbling something to Webbed. himself. Web. Fighting. All right, dwarf stays in front of you. His eyes are focused. Want to see what he has to say? Eighty-four tankards appear in a cave. Eighty-four tankards appear. You Pick pass one up, up back, back, back your cap. Eighty. Seventy-nine. The ghost grasps at the handle of his mug and stares in confusion as his hand passes right through it. Four tankards appear. Oh no, that ain't right. Um. Uh. <clears throat> uh, what are you doing? I'm just trying to enjoy one last drink before I go on duty. I'll be down guarding Mordus. Gets cold down in that vault. Figured a drink or two to guard against the chill wouldn't hurt, eh? Oh, do you know where Vortus is? We know where the vault is? Hiding. Tell me anything. Ha! He ran to that vault like a rat with his... his what's it on fire? Tail! It's underneath his office. Ain't no way out. We just sealed him in and posted a guard. Okay. And once Lohar gets here, he'll deal with him. Won't be pretty neither. All right. Uh, you know what? Just stay here. I heard that you had the day off, man. Is that a fact? Well, no, that's a fine yep, thing. Yep, you, you, you earned it, man. The ghost Number one guard. To pick up his guard of the month. Again, fumbles and stares at it in confusion. Slippery little devil, ain't ya? Yep. This guy's dead. Uh, you know... When in Rome, steal everything that's in here. Oh, I can't identify it because Los is not here. I'm pretty mad. I will bedroll though. Don't care. I would like to take the gold though. Is it just one gold though? Dagger, gold, gold. I'm not gonna go through every one of those little gold pieces. It's not worth it. If it's, if, especially if it's just one gold piece. Um, okay, so let's look at the map real quick. We're all in the same area, looks like. We're all separated. Separated in a way. So. Okay, so. Los is here down safe. The Red Prince is here somewhat safe. Beast is in trouble. Like, Beast is definitely in trouble. So. The best course of action. I guess we just go per one player at a time. Go to the middle down here. The depths. I mean, I don't know, man. This is actually kind of crazy. We just need to meet up if we can. What'd you say? Combat log. You said something. Can I use the uh, spirit vision to see anyone else? Oh, there's dead. There's enemies over here. What are they? They're volatile voidlings. And there's an egg hatch over there. It might be best if we go up here with Sir Vision Knife. Oh no. Who's being attacked? Because that's the marksman. You know what? Yeah, that's what I want to do. They're bad guys. I am so confused. <laughs> But I feel like they're going to try to kill me if I try to do anything. So what I will do now, is I'll try playing dead. I want to see what they'll do. Because they're all enemies, they're all marked as enemies for me. And I should still get action points maybe? Not action points, uh, experience from these kills. They're not doing any damage, is all I gotta say. Oh. 
Just let them take care of it. Stay down. <laughs> I should still get experience, hopefully. This person should be- oh, never mind. Where's this person going? They can't go up there, so like, I don't know what they're doing. I will say I am a little bit worried. Because... I need their numbers to actually like, really dwindle down. Like, a lot. Especially even everyone. Like, I, they're all against me, I need their numbers to dwindle. So maybe the best thing to, in this in this this scenario is to get Los over here. No experience. No experience. I lied. All right. All right. You know what? Let's get out of here. Can I just flee? But I'll be like somewhere else. Won't I? Yeah, see, I'm gonna be somewhere else completely. Alright, let's go back. Alright, so let's go back here. We know what happens. I'm confused still. So we want to meet up before we do any of the fighting, it feels like. Because there's no way we can do these fights. Absolutely no way. So what we're gonna do right away is just go ahead and end our turns and basically just be taken away. Doesn't matter. Although maybe it does matter how much damage we do, because then if we do a lot of damage, then we can probably, you know, take someone. Take one of them out at least, maybe? We'll see. Not exactly sure. And I don't think there's anything that we can do to actually help us. Because I think the only person that had a turn was my character, Gojira, because he had the most initiation. I don't know. <laughs> Very complicated right now. So, Beast. Red Prince, you're over here. Beast, go in there. Run back. No, okay, go in there further. What? There you go. Before I do anything, I just want to look around. Traps. Benches. There's nowhere for us to go in this case. So... I'll try to do something to this guy. Do this. Uh, let's do adrenaline first of all. I don't want to do Sawtooth Knife. Let's adrenaline Red Prince as we can. Do two attacks, maybe? The way I see it, if we even do a little bit of damage to this guy, we'll be okay. Even if we do it, like, because then maybe, maybe it'll be make it either fight easier later. He just throws three people with one. Okay, this is scripted. This is definitely scripted. I like how everyone says that they, they've been dating. See, that sounds like a success, right? That like... Da, 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 da. More void woken. This day just gets better and better. I can't move. So what can I do? I can cast ability still, apparently. So let's try a fireball. Never mind. I can do phoenix dive. Let's delay our turn. I want... Okay. So now we can do fireball here. And we can both knock him down. I don't, I'm like knocked down. I'm not even moving. I don't know how this is working. Let's do a shield toss. World one is not enough. Let's do some fire. Why not? And we get the both kills. And we get no experience again. We got no experience there. Ow. Alright, spirit vision with this man over here. Unlock the toolbar. Move this over here, move this over here. The blessing over here. Spirit vision over here. 
here. There is one person here. We have some essence and a ruby. Good to sell. Attack the egg clusters because I don't trust them at all. Talk to this lady, see if she, have anything, if she has anything to say to us. The spirit twists and turns in front of you. It looks lost. It looks scared. It looks desperate. I'm touching the spirit. Passes through the ghost. You feel its fear flow into you. You feel its confusion. You feel, you feel hands on the hard stone, ripped skin where the monster grabbed you. You're surrounded by darkness. Uh, tell the spirit to run. You scramble forward blindly, but slip and fall. The floor is slick with something. Blood. There's liquid on the ground. It's wet. Yep. It's warm. Oh gods. You pray it's not blood. No, it's definitely blood. You summon your magic, and a tiny light flickers. You're kneeling in a clear pool oh, of liquid. Source. It isn't blood. You look up into dozens of eyes glittering in the dark. A long drip of saliva oh, I'm in someone's falls stomach. from the shadows. It isn't blood. You're flung from the vision, screaming ringing in your ears. Back in your own body, you double over, trying not to retch. Well then. That was something. So we can't go this way, it looks like. We can, actually. It's the long way around. Let's look at the fish first. You know, maybe we might find some monkeys in this barrel. We see two voidlings over here. See, now this is where I'm... I can't move over there. So it looks like Beast has it the toughest. Guys over here, too. I might be able to take these two guys on my own. We can't go this way, because if we go this way, yeah, we can't, we should not go this way. We should not go that way just yet. We should wait until we get to somewhere else. Down here. More XX. So this is where Gojira will end up going, but there's a lot of enemies down there. We don't want to do that just yet. Or not. That's not the way, that's not where Gojira is. So let's look at Los next. Or, you know, we're going to do, we're, we're actually going to do uh, Red Prince first. All right, so let's delay our turn for now. There's something there, possessed rogue. Is the possessed rogue doing anything? Looks like the possessed rogue is not enough fight for some reason. Can I Phoenix dive over there? I cannot. So I guess I'll end my turn. End my turn. Just wait for them to get through the doors. It's gonna take a long time. <laughs> Can I just open the door somehow? No, I cannot because I don't have a key. You know what? You know, I'll, I'll be right here. They have no armor, so I want to get into a position where I can get both of them. Let's go move up over here. Let's see what we got over here. I think we can hit them, so I'll just end my turn there. Just, uh, you know, be patient. We'll get there eventually. Matter of fact, let's quick save just in case we mess up something. I may just fast forward through this. I wish I could though. Combat lock, please. So I, one thing I read is that actually Divinity, I never played the first Divinity. I tried it, but I never actually completed it. I wanted to play it with my girlfriend, but she didn't want to play it. Uh, and then I never went back to it. But I heard that you had unlimited action points if you stored them all. Which I find to be kind of crazy. Can you imagine having like 20 action points? That's like overpowered probably. Perfect. He still attacked me, but that's fine. But honestly, that's like the best thing I probably could have hoped for. Because I could do all of this stuff right now. Boom, boom. I can fortify myself however they want to. Or I can do something else like provoke, but that doesn't matter. What I might do here... I might Phoenix dive right in the middle of the two of them. And do a quick whirlwind. Boom. And they don't give me experience. The heck, man. Ruby. Ruby. I want to see what that guy has to say. 
We have a key. Nice. A barrel chamber key. The way I see it, the more of those things I kill, the probably the better it will be. Just make sure there's anything that we don't... Like, make sure that there's something that... Look everywhere we want, just in case there's like some special items or something. I should stop looking at these barrels, because I, I feel like all that we'll have was fish. And I'm not a big fan of fish. Talk to this I man. can't hear nothing. Nothing but that voice. It won't mm. stop. It never stops. Can't stop, won't stop. Uh... I'm good, man. The dwarf starts to sob quietly with his hands pressed over his ears. We will save you. The dwarf snaps around to look at you, panic filling his sapphire eyes. It won't stop. Since we locked up Morgan, So Mortis is doing this. It just won't stop. He grabs your arm, pawing at you while his mouth moves silently. His blue eyes swirl, turning an oily black as you watch. Oh no. Why is there a second person? Why is there a second person? I never agreed to two people. I can drain like a bunch of magic arm, but that's not worth it. What I should probably do here... I kinda wanna do a phoenix dive. Right here. Try to knock down that one lady at least. That's probably the best play I've got right now. I could fortify myself, which might be the best option here. Or I could try doing fire attack. You know what? I want to do the most damage I can, so just fire attack. Whoa. Okay, Blitz will not hit anyone else but her. Who has the least magic armor? This guy. So, a fireball might be a good thing to do over here. And then, I can't attack her if I go over there. So what I will do... Smart... Wait, what's, what is this blocked by? Physical armor? You have no physical armor? You know what? Come here, lady. I'll fortify myself. Actually, I'll move to her. The reason why I decided to move to her... Armor Frost, that's fine. Because then I have an attack of opportunity. Just like that. He hit me. She hits her. That's fine. I did not use Fortify this turn, so I will use Fortify this turn. Last time, so I use Fortify this time. I want to get behind this man, but I cannot, apparently. I can. How much is this? Looks like it's over 5 meters, so I can't do that ability just yet. Crippling Blow could be something... I guess I'll just do a regular attack. And then... Move away from the fire, I guess? Ah, uh, my bad. I, mean, I literally opened my back to him. Got shocked, too. Hmm. Bad decision there. Horror form, that's a bunch of magic damage that puts me to sleep, but didn't hit me, apparently. That's fine. That's fantastic. I have... Never mind. I might die here. Actually, no. She's dead. For sure. How can I kill her? Shields up. Priority one. She has shackles, so if I get hit, she's dead. What can I do here? Fire damage, why not? She hits me, she's dead, basically. I feel. This guy hits me. She's... Come on. Yes, you're dead. She's dead. I'm stunned. He's shocked. He might win this fight, though. Red Prince, it's on you, man. What can I do here? Should I... What should I do? I can knock him down. If I do a shield toss... Followed by the knockdown ability. Then what can I do? 
I can fortify myself. Shackle. He has just barely enough more, little bit, little bit more HP than me, and he can't move by crippling blow him. Glory is mine. I'm asleep. It misses. Why does it keep missing it? Um, shield bash. Shields up. Attack of opportunity, fantastic. Say bye bye now. Oh, you're the one that's dead, man. Let's do a blitz to get closer. And finish him off with a regular attack. We got 7,705. 7,700. That and much experience. Alright, that was kind of scary. And I don't think there's a way for me to get over there. No, there's not. But there is an enemy over here. And what is it? A vampiric void woken. Okay, this is actually very terrifying. Where's the dead lady? She's over here. She, she's fried. Silver glass. Alright, so now... You don't... I should have given everyone a bedroll. I did not, I did not expect this to be a thing. Alright, so that's basically the Red Prince done. So F5, Red Prince is done. Next up, Losa. She's not in any danger as far as I can tell. But she is over here by herself. Put the stuff over here. Luckily, she can heal herself. She has restoration. Oh, she's in where... This is where... What's it called was last time? This is where... Uh, red, not... Uh, Gojira was last time. Yep. Drinking. Yep. What are you doing? Vault where? Rest up. I heard they had the off. Yeah, yeah. So now... I, last time there was like an, a good item in here. So now we should be able to yet identify two items right away. Which might be both really good for... Uh... Los here. Nope, there's a light golden teaspoon that would probably sell. That seems sellable. Silver glass. Open this. Take these two. Alright, we're good. So now, I can go over here. And this seems to be the main area which I think the Red Prince can also get into. No, he cannot. Hold on, let's look at the map. This is Red Prince. He can go... In here. This is Los. She can go over here, basically. So I feel like Gojira is the next one. She does not want to go down here. Down here is bad. Don't go down here just yet. The Red Prince, I'm scared of. The Red Beast. The Beast. God. <laughs> Combining everyone's name. Why not? She's the one I'm scared of the most. So let's go back to her. Let's go ahead and I try to identify the things. Why not? Maybe she can use them herself right now. Uh, This is Gojira's back. I can't use that. So let's identify these two. With Los. Can I send things to the person? I can. I did not think that would be possible. So what if I send this to the Red Prince? It does work. Fantastic. Okay, that's good to know. So I have a Magical Lizard Staff, which is 35 to 45 damage. That's actually really, really good. And it does Bleeding and Acid, which is not fantastic because I hate Acid. Huntsman and Summoning. Not really good for anyone in my opinion. I don't want to give the two Necromancer. Or Int. This might not be that bad. Oh, it's, it's it does fire damage and it does acid. Okay, that's interesting. Acid and bleeding. And it does 20% chance to succeed. It does more damage. Right? But I can only attack with this once per turn. 34. Yeah, this is better. A lot better. Let's try that now from now on. So with that being said, send this to the Red Prince. Go back to the Red Prince. Heal him up. And that's going to be... Remember, he has the thing. He has the healing abilities. So, we know what's down there. We don't know what's up there. We want to avoid this whole area down here. Because there's a fight going down there. And we do not want to be a part of that fight. Especially because there's no experience. Down here, we don't know what's over here. There's a door over here. So, in this case, I may just go for Gojira. Because I feel more confident in his fighting abilities than I do Losa's. Because of her pretty low armor, I would guess. There is someone here. And there's enemies outside here. Looks like they are what? Some more void woken crawlers. I want to void them if I can. And I cannot reach those things. I will what, 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 what I will do right away, spirit vision. Bloodied leg, that's good to eat later. 
The spirit stares at you, through you. So what do you know about this place? There's like some ballista around here. But I'm separate from my friends. I, one of my friends is in combat and might die. So what's going on, mate? When and she opens her mouth to speak, her voice seems to drift to you from far away, as if half dreamed. Okay. We keep the shipments here. That's what's meant for ships. It ends up in our carts, trundling away. Where are the shipments headed? <laughs> Ox. Okay. The barrels are rolling all the way to Ox. I remember those, yeah. And when they get there, the air will turn to screams. Dying, choking, screams. They're sending death fog? It wafts on the wind. The black ring choked. Ox will choke. They will all choke. Is Lohar doing this? I thought Lohar was... All right, whatever. Uh, what about Mortis? Mortis, where is he? Mordus? Yes. A dreamy smile spreads across her face. You don't look for Mordus. She comes back to herself for the first time and looks you in the eye. Mordus looks for you. <laughs> okay, crazy lady. Also, is there a rat in here? There is. Pet pal perk, where are you? A shovel. A globe. Am I supposed to find Tenebrian tools? Hey, I need your help, lady. Before I do that, I need to look around around. Oh, there's a manifest. I, I, I'm gonna talk to the lady. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm gonna look around the stuff first. Nice mirror. Letter with a large ink stain. How can I not reach that? Oh. <laughs> Boiled again. By a single... Ooh, fries. Let's read this book. Ooh. We That's a lot of weapons. Holy crap. My bad. Handle carefully. Death fog within. Okay, what was that? Uh, we found evidence of death fog in the caverns. It seems that the weapons are originally part of the manifest of the dying order ship. Stolen. Death fog from Magistrate. Oh, okay. So Lohar got. Uh, what's the Halo of the Peacemaker is here. I can feel its power. What's here? This is amazing for what's it called? Uh, the Beast. We might give it to him as fast as we can, but actually we won't be able to. Oh. That's really cool. I'm not going to be able to use it. 
Manifest of the Peacemaker. Oh, he's looking for the Peacemaker. Is that what he said? I don't know. Move this out of the way, please, because I hate having to move this around every time I have to walk. Right. I still have me sorted out the diagnostics. One second, I'm just read this first. Third communique. Okay, let's see the summary of what it said. Death fog delivery device had been recovered and was being repaired. Okay. Nades. I'll take the shield. Yes, he said that twice already, lady. Relax. Oh. The prince, baby. Take the shield, man. Uh, a lot of initiative. But I prefer this one better. Even 101 and 100. Ooh, right. yeah. I still have out That's a lot better. At the worst. A lot better. Send this to the beast. He can't use it right now, unfortunately. Because he's in battle. And I'll use an action point. I don't want him to use his action points. Alright, talk to lady. Hopefully she can help us. Let's just read this first. Right. Where in the void am I supposed to find Tenebrian tools? It's got potential use for your death targets. We're more great. Divine order is dead. Read this. Uh huh. Something about jackals. Like a lady. The woman hums to herself as she works with total focus and concentration. Her ears twitch as you approach, but she does not turn to you. Yes. Uh, what are you doing? She turns to peer up at you, surprise and mistrust evident in her intelligent face. And what business is it of yours, outsider? Uh, you've been slacking, man. I've been I've been hired to fetch a progress report on you, but yeah, the, the boss upstairs, he's very upset with you. Damn. <laughs> You're in no position to give me orders. I answer directly to Queen Justinia herself. Leave me to work in peace. Please. I need your help, Leave lady. Me to work in peace. I don't even have money. Beast. Remember this lady. Can I go out here? I actually might be able to go out here. Actually, I'll lock this, please. No, it looks like there's just nothing down there. Okay. So it looks like the best thing for me to do... I know that there's bad guys out there. There's three of them. No, there's four. Lead fire might work. What is their immunities? A lot of fire resistance. Hmm. So maybe bleed fire might not be the best item. Lockpick this. Oh my... Am I just trapped here then? Where the others might be. Ooh. Geomancer toning. Alright, I'll pick it up. Pumpkin soup. There's something over here. So maybe we can go over there. There you go. There you go. Alright, we did. Oh, we found it. I am a genius. I, I'm not a genius. I just looked at the map and hey, it worked. All right, so now let's see how this goes. As a matter of fact, let's try it. What do you have over here? We have arrow spray. Arrow spray. Fire 16 arrows. Holy crap! That's really good for up close and personal fights. So I'm not gonna use it right now. That guy is dead. For sure. So what I will do, I'll use adrenaline real quick. Nah, I'll just get it. Yeah, just I'll just get it. I lied. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I, I, I didn't lie. It did die. They can't come up here, are you kidding me? These guys are sucky. I mean, it makes sense that they can't climb up there, right? Because they're like... They don't have arms. 
Can I shoot him from here, though? I cannot. But there's another guy somewhere down here. There you go. So I will end my turn with that move. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate your generosity moving away from me so I could probably shoot you more. I appreciate your help, little man. You would be alive if you didn't move that way. Now, question is, can I shoot this guy? I cannot. What if I move over here? I cannot. Can I close the door, please? How about now? How about now? Nope. Can't even shoot the guy that's all the way over there, so let's try to move over here, maybe? No. Thank you. You're so kind again. Fish's spoiling was turned into a pincushion. That's that's a good joke. I like that. It hits. It's very finicky though. I mean, if you don't want to move, you're just gonna die, man. All right, we're good. So let's go ahead and unequip that item and put our other items back. I like that weapon though, it looks pretty good. Alright, but I think we're gonna stop here for now. Uh, next time I guess we'll just do like, I guess we'll explore a little bit more with uh, Gojira here, see what there is down here. There's a chest over here we cannot get to, we might be able to teleport it later. Got this giant door here. There might be more bad guys here, I'm like actually really scared about this area man. I think I might be too low a level for this area. In all honesty, just because I'm scared of what I might be find, what I might find here. Especially beast. Like, look at this. There's... And there's the big guy still. Like, how am I supposed to... Get... How am I supposed to get over here in the first place with everyone else? It doesn't look like it's actually possible. Look at this. Actually... You can't... You can't flee. I'm embedded. Enemy's too close. Yeah, see, this is, uh, I don't know what to do with this guy right here. Losa. We, 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 you know, we, we, we have an idea of what we should do. We don't want to go that way because there's a, a bunch of guys over here. So the best option might be to go over this way or that way. Although this is locked, so we might have to find a key. So next time we'll definitely try to figure this out. You know, we killed a bunch of enemies. Where, where can Gojiro go, actually? Gojiro can meet up eventually with Losa over here. Like here-ish. If I can get there. Uh, but yeah, it's very interesting and very complicated right now, I feel like. Uh, I, I think Beast might actually die next turn. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Divinity Original Sin 2. And I will see you guys next time. Deuces!